what is up guys welcome back to the youtube channel so in today's video we are going to learn how to add email and password authentication with firebase in a react project so if this sounds interesting stay with me to the end of this video and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel please subscribe to make this channel reach a lot more people i will appreciate that a lot okay so we have here a simple form which accepts users email and then their password right so what we want to do is that anytime a user enters their email and then their password and clicks create account we want to create an account for the user and also if the user already has an account and hits the sign in button then the user can sign in that's what we want to achieve today and we are going to do this with firebase okay so we have here we have just this simple form with an input field of type email and this placeholder as you see here and the other one which is the password with this placeholder and we have the button here for creating the, the account and then the sign in button here as well okay so first of all we'd have to set everything up on the firebase console so first of all head over to your browser and then google um firebase console and then hit this first link you see here okay all right so if you don't have an account on firebase then you would have to create an account but if you have an account then just log in and then click this button here go to console to be able to go to the firebase console so we hit the go to console button here and then as you can see i have a number of projects here but we'll create a new project here to do this we click the add project here and then we give it a name so i'm going to call it email email or yt like so and okay i think the naming okay and then let's hit continue and we can disenable this one here and then let's create the project Okay, so this will take a couple of minutes for it to be complete okay so now it's done then let's hit the continue to redirect you to this page okay cool now here you can click whether you can decide whether you want to build an ios app an android app or a web app so in our case we are building a web app so we are going to go with the web icon here you click on it and then we have to give this app a nickname right we are just going to give it the same name as um email or yt like so and let's register the app okay so here we can see that we have a number of options here that we can either use the npm or a script tag so we are not going to use the script tag we are going to use the npm so we would have to first install firebase right you have to go with this command npm install firebase if you are using a mac then you go with yarn add firebase so let's go back here open our terminal and then um paste the command we just copied which is npm install firebase so this is going to install firebase for us so while it's installing let's create a new file here in the source folder called firebase.js like so cool so after we've created a file let's head back to firebase and then copy everything we have here okay and then we paste it here let's see if the installation is done cool the installation is done all right now let's continue to the console okay so now we can see a number of options we have here we can use the firebase authentication app check fast store database real-time database etc but we are going for the authentication today so we will be working with the firebase authentication today and let's hit get started here okay and with the authentication we have a number of options here whether the email or password google facebook etc but we'll be going with the email and password 
provider for today so we're going to enable the email password yeah and then hit save okay cool once that is done then we are also going to learn how to um read docs for doing things like this so it's it's a good practice to often read the docs of um packages that we want to use right so we are going to read the docs here on firebase related to the email password authentication so let's click this question mark icon we have here and then authentication developer docs let's hit it so it's going to open the developer docs for us to see what we have there okay so um let's hit for the this is the email and password based authentication so we're not doing ios or android we are going with the web so hit the web all right so yes we are using the version 9 of the firebase authentication or the firebase version 9 so we have this this snippet of codes here and we can see this method here called create user with email and password right so this is how we are going to um, create accounts for our users right so we're going to use this method we have here or this code snippet we have here we're going to create users with email and password like so so let's copy all the codes we have here because this is how we are going to achieve this so let's copy it and then let's head over to our project we have here so first of all let me export this app we have here so this is our firebase config that's going to do all the magic for us so let's export default an app to be able to use it in other files let's head over come here and then let's paste the snippets of course we copied now let's move this one to the top because we'd have to import it at the top so we are getting this error here because um this email and password is it's not defined right this email and password is not defined now this email and password is going to be the value of the email the user has inputted into the form right so the email the user inputs and then the password the user inputs will be placed here okay so we are going to add that in a bit so <clears throat> anytime that we what we want to achieve is anytime the user clicks this button we want to create an account so let's add a function here called on click so on click and then let's call it <coughs> sign up right we haven't created this function yet so i'm going to do that just now so sign up and then let's say const sign up equal to an arrow function and then um let's bring everything here into that function okay and also this one can stay out here and then let's add the app we exported from the firebase right so <clears throat> this app the initialize app firebase config here that we exported we are adding it into the get us here all right so this error is still here we'd have to add states to it so i'm going to use use states to to fix this so use state snippets here like so and then let's call this email and set the email and let's initialize it with an empty string you have to import use state as well so i've imported it here use state from react okay and that's for the email now let's do another one for the password password and okay cool so now this are just the states right but we want to add the values inputted into this input fields into the states right so to do this let's do the unchange let's add the unchange event and it's going to take a function let's and an event here and say set email to event dot target dot value like so so here any any value that's been inputted or typed into the this email input field we are setting it to the email here right so which means that this email here is then passed 
into this create user with email and password here like so okay so let's copy this one here and paste the same thing here then we change this email to password could that be for the password like so okay great so this is what we have here and um what we want to do is this is the user right this function is going to create a user for us so after the user has been created let's log out the user or let's console dot let's show the user on the console right so like so so that we know that yes the user has successfully been logged in and also let's alert something so that we know that the user has indeed been the user account has indeed been created so let's say successfully created an account okay now let's catch the error just in case the user inputs something wrong we need to catch the error right so and we have this error code here from firebase and then the error message but i'm going to use the error code alone so let's just alert the error code like so okay so now let's test this out so this is just for creating the the account for the user right so let's test this out and see if it's working let's come to our app and let's test so let's see example at gmail.com and let's add a password and hit create account okay so we are getting an error here with saying weak password meaning our password is weak so let's strengthen it a, a bit okay and create the account again okay so now we are getting an alert here that successfully created an account Good. then it means our code is working now let's check the console and see if the user has been displayed there okay so we have it here right so this is the email we inputted and some other details that we have here great so we can also check in the firebase console if we have a user so if you click the users here you notice that a new user will be added to the users list since we've added a new user right exactly as we have here so we have example at gmail.com which is the email we use for creating the account and the user's id and then the data was created etc so we can also add another account here see test at gmail.com with a different password and create the account and we have been alerted successfully created an account okay and let's come back here again refresh the page you should also see that new user here again which means that we've created the user as well so here we have it test at gmail.com which was created on this date and this user id okay so <clears throat> this is how we are going to create the users now let's see how we can sign them in as well we are going to use the method we have here called sign in with email and password from firebase right so this is the snippets of code we are going to use so this is why it is very advisable to be reading the docs it makes life a lot easier for you as a developer right okay so we've added this already but we only we are only going to need this here so sign in with email let's copy it and then paste it add it here let's go back again and then let's copy this part this portion of the code here and we are going to create another function called sign in where we are going to use it to sign our users in. Sign in. Be an arrow function. And let's paste the code here. And let's copy this. And then say on click. Then we add that function. All right. So this is what we have here for signing the users in. We have the sign in with email and password and we have these parameters as well 
so we are going to do the same thing let's log the user on the console the user and then let's in case of an error let's alert the error message so alert error code like so and if the user has successfully been created let's alert something like or the user has successfully signed in let's alert this user has successfully signed in like so okay great now let's test this out and see so we already have we have created some accounts here already so let's sign in with those accounts which is example at gmail.com let me enter the password here and hit sign in okay so this user has successfully signed in which means we have successfully signed the user in and our code is working right now let's see what if the user enters a wrong password and hit sign in let's see what we get okay so we can we have been alerted that the password we've entered is wrong so yes yeah, that's how easy we can integrate firebase authentication in our react project so you create you can create another account and you see that on your firebase console so let's say change at gmail.com with some password and then create account successfully created an account we head over to the firebase console refresh the page and we should see that one as well so we have it here change at gmail.com the, the date of creating the account and then the user's id now you can go ahead and add this this last part for um signing the users out it's very simple just copy this code and add it to the project and you'll be good to go so yes this is it for this this video we've learned how to create an account for users with firebase and then how they are going to sign in as well and you can add extra features to it i mean you can make a system where after the users have created accounts you redirect them to a different page of your application or when they sign in you redirect them to a different page i mean just have fun with it and enjoy firebase i mean so thanks again for watching this video and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to this video this channel yet please do for this video to reach a lot more people so that they gain the benefits as you as well okay so thanks once again for watching this video and subscribe don't forget to subscribe bye